Good morning, everybody. I am back and live, and I'm going to do a live today on the RV I'm trying to sell. It's a 2021 Fleetwood Bounder 35K. This is Fleetwood's 35th year in business. So it's, they're a good company. It's a really well-built RV. It's, this one's like a house on wheels, but I wanted to show you everything on it. So I may be jumping around all over the place, but just watch with me and let me know what you think and let me know you're on here. Hey sister, if I don't see you, I'm sorry if I don't see you right away, but I will answer you if I can. If not, I'll go back later and answer things. But anyway, here we go, getting started. Here it is sitting down here in my driveway and it is a 2021 Fleetwood Bounder 35K, 36 foot long. I'm going to do a walk around on the outside and show you some things and then we'll go inside and show you things. I did have it washed. My nephew came and washed it, and but it gets dirty just sitting here. But it's really nice. It's got two tip outs, one on each side. And then it's got a ton of storage. And I'll walk down this side and just kind of show you all the storage underneath here. I'm not going to open all this side, but you can kind of see it. Because it's all underneath the tip out. And I don't want to pull the tip out. Ooh. Let's see. A couple of them. Like here's for your water system and your sewer and all that. And that's, I mean, they've got it where it's very easy to use. And then it has a Cummins generator that is an automatic start in three different places on the inside. And then it also has where the electrical and it goes out the bottom so you don't have to leave the door open and you run your plug that way. And then it reels back in automatically. You have to pull it down, which isn't hard to do, but then it reels back in automatically. And of course you have the, the back of it. And there is a ladder underneath. And um, hey Dottie, hey Charlene. Anyway, the ladder hooks on, and for some reason, if you need to climb up on the roof, you can. It has tons and tons of storage, like this one here, and this actually goes all the way through. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's lots and lots and lots of places to store things. And this is your water tank down here that you carry your water in or you fill it up when or no I'm sorry this is your propane the water tanks further are on the other side that's the propane and there's actually in here is you can have an it's an outdoor shower there's a thing in there to pull out to have an outdoor shower if you wanted to or a hose and there's more storage and there's two more storage. And then this down here is for you to hook your barbecue grill up to. And then this is, if I can get it open. Well, just a minute. I gotta turn it the right way. Thought that was the right way. Well, maybe I don't know how to get it open. Anyway, it's a TV. It usually just pops right open. There it is. There it is. Okay, Any, well, why am I having so many problems this morning? <laughs> There's that one. 
too many keys for this thing. And there's that one. There we go. And see the steps automatically come down. And then I'm going to show you. We have a control panel up here that controls everything. Turn that off for a minute. I'm going to put the awning out, but I won't leave it out for long because it's really windy today. But it has all these controls right here. And let's see. Awning out. You just push it. And it automatically comes out. There you have the awning but yeah it's too windy today to leave it out but I wanted to show you the awning and it does have lights underneath it too and then when you want it to come back in oops you just push awning in and it automatically comes back in so there you have that now we're going to go in the inside for a little bit and turn on some lights. Okay. Now you have your front area, your passenger seat, and it also has up here, like if the passenger wants to have something, you can eat there or have your laptop or whatever you want right there. And that kind of makes it nice. And you also have your USB plugs all over this thing has those. Then you have your drawer. And this television up here is uh, for this bed up here, which I'm gonna show you. Let me close the door. This bed is the queen size bed, and the control for it is up here. If you have the key in the ignition, it will not work because this bed comes down over the top of the driver's seat. And there you have that, and there's a ladder that goes to it. It's underneath the king size bed. There's a storage compartment for that. And you have a television up there, and little cubbies and stuff and it says it'll hold up to 500 pounds so two pretty good sized people could sleep up there and it's got a nice cushy mattress foam mattress on it so there's that we'll put that back up you have your speaker there and a speaker there for your stereo system i have the shades down because it's so hot trying to keep the sun out of here and i've been running the air conditioner out here because we have it plugged in. But there's the driver's seat. And I'm just going to show you these. These shades are automatic here. You have the front shade and the front other shade that keeps all the light out for like when you're parked at night. And then you have those on the side, but those pull up by hand. These in the front are automatic. And they will not, they'll come down if the key is in the ignition, but they'll only come down halfway. So if you're trying to put them down while you're driving, it won't come down all the way. Um, let me get the keys. This has a backup camera, which also goes to the sides as you need it. And it'll have a split screen or three. It's however, however you need to have it, but it works good. And then you have your 
stereo and um, I think that's all that's on there is the the radio but then over here you have your your system that does the jacks and um, the the jacks that level this thing off and it's an automatic leveling system so you have that there you can see 1986 miles um, have all your information up there that thing on the windshield right there is for the backup camera and yeah it is loaded Charlene it's it's really loaded <laughs> and um, let's see up here it, you have your battery it shows you your battery levels and stuff and like I said you have your thing here it will show if your water pumps on it has a water pump electric water heater LP water heater and then this has the entry step on it too you have all your lights on here it shows you you can control them from here but there's also buttons here and in every room um, this shows you your fresh water your gray water your black water your battery levels and your LP gas levels this is for your slide outs in and out the bedroom and the dining room that's for your generator um, that we already did this is this is for your your living room heating and air conditioning and in the bedroom you have a heat pump and so it controls that too and then you have your exhaust fans controls which those are down here also but your exhaust up there and one in each bathroom then you have your kitchen area which I love this backsplash and your cabinets which they have little edges on them so things can't fall out um, there's to put your coffee pods in if you have a Keurig but you have shades on all these windows like this one you can pull that down keep the Sun out or at night when you're sleeping you have a nice double sink here with covers but you have that then you have your little tip out thing here nice faucet you have underneath the sink you have cabinet space you have cabinet space in here on the side you have three drawers there over here these cabinets have pull out drawers which works great so then you can reach anything in the back or anything very very convenient and then you have more storage down here you have cup holders everywhere these two front seats actually turn all the way around and will face towards the back of the RV um, this one the passenger seat has a uh, it turns into a uh, well goodness a recliner it goes into a recliner and um, so you can turn around and recline and watch TV or visit with everybody this one the driver's seat turns around but it does not recline then you have your uh, booth that actually the table just drops down and makes into a bed the seat cover the seat cushions come out and goes across the table drops all the way down and makes into a good sized bed I mean six foot something could lay in there and it's pretty comfortable so then you have underneath the, the seat you have two storage things which are nice and they're pretty deep go way back in there and then like I said all these windows have you can either pull this blind down to kind of keep the Sun out during the day if you still want to see out or at night you pull this one down and nobody can see in 
So that's nice. And then up top, you have all kinds of storage up here too. I mean, all these open and they all go way back in there. And there's more down here, goes all the way down. And then down here, you have all your, you have your uh, satellite dish. Uh, it comes with a Wally for, which is like a hopper. And it has Wi-Fi on it. And, and um, then you have the seats have this that pulls out and you can recline and watch TV. And then you have your fireplace. And let's see if I can get the fireplace to go on. Let's see. Yep, there's your fireplace. Pretty cool, huh? You can change. No, we don't want that. Change the flame to different flames. And it actually blows out heat. You can set the temperature on it. See, temperature. It goes all the way up to 80 degrees. So it actually heats up this part really well. And like I said, you have your television and this TV comes out from the wall and it'll turn. You have more storage up above it on two sides. And this refrigerator right here. Great big refrigerator. Of course, it has the locks on it, so it doesn't come open while you're driving. But, I mean, it has everything in it that you have in the, in the kitchen in your house. I mean, it's huge. It's as big as my one in the house. Then you have your freezer, and you have an ice maker. Yep, I gotta dump that ice out. But yeah, plenty of room in the freezer, plenty of room in the refrigerator. All your settings are up there at the top. And I thought I had the ice maker off. Anyway. I'll check that later. And then you, on this side of the, the seats, you have another little storage area back in here with a little tabletop. You have a mirror, and then you have your half bath right here in front of the seats. Let's see, there we go. And in here, you have a cabinet above the toilet, which has lots of little shelves in it. You have your pull-down things in here. You have a big cabinet above the sink, like a medicine cabinet. You have the sink, you have a drawer, you have a cabinet under, you got a place to put your magazines so you can read in the bathroom. So there's that half bath. And then in the bedroom, you've got your door that pulls over for privacy and it closes all the way. And in here, let's see, turn the lights on. You have the bedding that goes with the memory foam mattress I purchased and put in here. Down here you have your, you have plug-ins on each side plus you have USB ports on each side. Up at the top you have two speakers and two lights underneath. You have three cabinets. The one in the middle, oh let me get up here, is for your CPAC. People who have to have a CPAC. It's got the plug-in, it's got a place for the cords to hang on under here so they don't get tangled up on anything. So that's nice. Ooh. And then you have a pretty picture. You have a mirror with me in it. 
underneath this, here's all your circuit breakers and stuff. And then on this side, you have two drawers that are nice pull-out drawers. You have a closet. It's got cedar in it. You can, on one side, you can hang things for your hanging clothes. And it actually holds quite a bit. And then you got a little bit of storage on the bottom. You have your television in here in the bedroom. Hey, Jack. Show the engine with the, oh, for the motor heads. Okay, I'll do that too. Um, and then behind here, you have some little fuses and stuff, but you can also use this as storage too. Very, very, lots of storage in this thing. Then you have your emergency exit window, but it also has the blinds that pull down. And all these plugins back here have the USB ports in them. Then you have six drawers that are very nice. Put all your clothes in. And then under here, you have a cabinet that has two drawers that pull out and you can put things in. But up here is the washer dryer. Yeah, it's a combo. It does both. It takes, oh, probably about an hour, hour and 15 minutes at the most, I think, is the furthest it goes. But it has different settings on it. it um, it's not a huge thing, but I tell you what, it will hold a set of king-size sheets with no problem. It'll hold a few pairs of men's jeans and women's jeans with no problem. And it takes and it washes and it dries and then it's done and you take them out and it does a great job. And then above that, you've got storage, more storage. And these are vented because of the washer dryer. But that's very, very convenient to have if you're going to be traveling a lot. And then you've got your door on this side for the bathroom. And then in the bathroom, turn the lights on. You have your shower, which is actually a good size shower. I mean, I can get in it and stand and of course I'm only five foot three, but it's nice, very nice. And then it actually has glass doors on it. And these, this pushes down so they don't go sliding around while you're while you're driving. And you have a big cabinet here. And you have four big drawers here. And you have more storage, a little bit under there. But then you have two big medicine cabinets on each side that have several shelves in them hold quite a bit of stuff and like I said they have these little edges so things don't go flying out when you open the door and you have your vent fan up there and a towel rack and of course your toilet and your toilet paper holder um let's see turn the light out so that is pretty much of the inside now my cousin said I need to show the motor for the motor heads that are watching this. So, oh, I didn't show you the stove, did I? Sorry about that, got ahead of myself. Okay, the stove has these two things on them that come off. Oh. And so you have your stove, which has three nice burners, gas or propane, and then your oven, which has a rack, and it does really good. It does real good. But what I like is this microwave that also has a confection oven in it. And um, I used it a lot more so than I did the oven oven. 
and that works great and there's more storage up above it too um okay now i gotta figure out how to get the front hood open so i can show you the motor but we will go out and do that i'm gonna turn the lights off and turn the air back on okay living room no not the furnace there Get the air going so bear with me as I go out and we get the um, front open so I can show you the engine because it has these little little things like this but I've done it before whoops let's see if I can do it now one on each side uh, oh didn't quite get that one And this just drops down. <laughs> the front just drops down. Oh, I don't know, Jack. Where's the engine? <laughs> anyway, here's what's under the hood looks like. And it's a Ford chassis. It's a 7.3 um, 480, I believe. 7.3, I believe it's a 480. It's an 8 cylinder. Um, what else can I tell you? It actually has something about that. Where's that at? Oh, right here. If you can see that with the sun. Gosh, I can't even see in the sun, but anyway, it's Ford 8 7.3. Anyway, it's a nice, nice rig, and I just want what I owe on it, and I owe around 151000 on it. So, but it needs to go for many different reasons that I won't go into on here. But once it's gone, then I'll be buying my own house in town. So if that tells you anything, but anyway, um, yeah. I'm gonna post this, well, the video will be on there. If you can share it for me, I would appreciate it so much. Let me get in the shade so I can see if there's any more questions. Okay, so there she is. And like I said, please share this video once, you, once I get finished with it. And I'm gonna also put it on the sites I have it listed on the video. And if you have any questions, let me know. If you know anybody that's interested, please send them to me. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.